As the New Mexico United soccer team keeps dreaming about a new place to play, three of their USL competitors are opening new stadiums this season. While the sizes and price tags of those stadiums do vary, the United has some ideas of their own. News 13's Annalisa Pardo spoke to the owner today. The team and city are still waiting on the results of a feasibility study to see where the stadium should be built and what it should look like. But the United has its eyes focused on downtown. This can be much more than just a soccer stadium. This can be uh, a community center. This can be a place where we have art uh, installations. It can be something that's activated every single day and can drive a lot of uh, economic development and, and ancillary benefits for the community if it's downtown. The findings of the study should be released in late June or early July. About a dozen of the league's 31 teams already have their own stadiums and more are in the pipeline. The Oklahoma City Energy is looking at a 10 to 15,000 seat downtown stadium that could cost up to $70 million. Charlotte opened its 10,000 seat, at least $32 million stadium this year. New Mexico United was the first team to play at Colorado Springs Switchback's new $50 million stadium that seats 8,000. United President says he saw firsthand how the Switchbacks' new stadium could help a team and revitalize a neighborhood. The excitement was tremendous. I've never seen anything close to that before. And I think it's sustainable, which is more important. It's not just a one off. I think they're building a, a tremendous community team up there. The United is looking to have 10,000 to 15,000 seats at a cost of anywhere from 50 to 100 million dollars. The team led the league in attendance at more than 12,000 a game two years ago at Isotopes Park and had 8,000 fans for its home opener last Saturday, essentially a sellout under the current state restrictions. The United have to pay rent to the Isotopes. Funding for a soccer specific stadium could come from the ownership, the city, the state, and even some private investors. Today, the city told us that bonding could be an option on their end. Annalisa Sapardo, CARE News 13. The state has already agreed to put $8 million toward the stadium.